When we first reviewed Red Faction Guerrilla in 2009, we gave it an 8.0 for great. Here's what we said about it back then. If all you care about is blasting things to pieces, you're gonna love Red Faction Guerrilla. Seeing a tower topple to the ground in a seemingly realistic fashion is really a thrill, and though it may lose its appeal as you continue through the lengthy campaign, it's still worth checking out, particularly after you unlock some of the better weapons. What's more disappointing about Volition's effort is the rocky mission design, bland artistic style, weak plot, and anemic character development, which shifts too much focus to the element of destruction to maintain a level of excitement. Despite having a title that deserves a firm slap across the face of whoever thought it up, Red Faction Guerrilla Remars Turd is a great reason to visit the Red Planet for the first time or to return for another round of destruction. Even almost a decade later, this is still my gold standard for destructible environments in games. I don't know whether that's a testament to Volition's Geomod engine or an indictment of modern games' lack of devotion to freeform demolition, but either way, the remastered edition still makes it insanely satisfying to level an enemy base with little more than a few demo charges and a big hammer. And doing it at 60 FPS and 1080p feels better than ever, though playing in the 4K quality mode on PS4 Pro can get a little sluggish in the more destructive battles. The updates to lighting, shadows, shaders, and post-processing effects combine with the improved textures to create a convincing illusion that this game didn't come out between Assassin's Creed and Assassin's Creed 2. It's not likely to fool anyone into thinking it's brand new, of course, the fairly bland color palette and repetitive textures mean Guerrilla still feels like a game from a few years back. This dated feeling is also due to something that the graphics can't fix, the vast swaths of Mars that still don't contain anything worth swinging a hammer at. While it's probably an accurate depiction of what a recently colonized planet might look like, it doesn't make for particularly interesting gameplay when you just want to get to the next clump of buildings you plan to destroy. But once you're in the middle of a rampage, Red Faction Guerrilla can still bring the house down. For more explosive demolition, check out the first 10 minutes of the game or our graphics comparison between the original Red Faction Guerrilla and the Remastered Edition. And for all your other dynamically destructible needs, you're already in the right place here at IGN.